Now, Uber Freight's rate of growth has actually slowed considerably over the last few years from around 75 percent at the end of 2019 to 50 percent in the first quarter of this year. With this acquisition, what can we expect going forward? Will Freight's growth accelerate or continue to decelerate? Uh, thanks for having me. Super excited to share the news. Uh, we have been going phenomenally well over the past few years. Those numbers decline because they keep getting higher. And uh, we think with the acquisition, uh, we're going to see a lot of opportunity for growth and offer more and more innovation and technology for supply chain uh, across uh, the world and for the tens of thousands of shippers that the joint company will serve. Now, Lear, over the pandemic, uh, CEO Darbar Khosra Shahi has actually been selling cash burning units like autonomous driving and flying taxis. Now, the freight space has only become more competitive. You guys are still losing money, though I know you say you're going to be EBIT adjusted, EBIT up profitable in a few years. But can we view this acquisition as a, tra as a change in strategy? Will we see more money going into the freight unit? You can see it as a continuation of the vision we had uh, all along since we started the business four years ago. It was always about bringing that digital transformation to the industry. And as a matter of fact, we have built the largest digital network in the U.S. for truck drivers. We have over a million truck drivers on the platform. And as you can see in our financials, they keep getting better because now that we have that scale and have that liquidity, the innovation of marketplace technology and data science and efficiency we can bring now that we have that digital infrastructure are only accelerating. And that's the next step for us. We now understand super well truck drivers and carriers that employ them. And Transplace understands super well shippers and their supply chain. So when you bring both together, Uber Freight accelerates Transplace, Transplace accelerates Uber Freight, and the combined entity can really offer a lot more value to the ecosystem. Finally, Leo, talk a little bit about the supply demand uh, dynamics. Labor shortages affecting the trust, the trucking industry as well. We're seeing higher paychecks, more turnover. How does this help Uber Freight, especially in this moment, get to that level of profitability in just a few years? That's a great question, Deirdre, and we're living in an unprecedented time. Um, I'm sitting here at the, the San Francisco office overlooking the bay and looking at 20, 30 container ship, cargo ships basically being stuck waiting to be unloaded. There's no truck drivers, there's no containers. Capacity is so hard to come by. And as a result, a price of logistics, of supply chain, of moving all of those packages that we like to consume are skyrocketing. As a matter of fact, it's almost 3X as expensive to move a truck now compared to last year. And that's all while having more and more demand and less and less truck capacity. So the industry and supply chain are under a lot of strain. And for us, it's doing our best to support the working class, the three, four million of truck drivers in the US that uh, can have a much easier way to onboard and uh, get their job done, bringing more capacity to market. But then with the acquisition, really optimizing the supply chain and getting rid of all the waste. Remember, a third of those trucks are running empty. And if we can optimize and reduce that mile with the combined entity, we can do so much better and help uh, the current strength on logistics.